Good evening. I'm here at the main mall with my friend Victor in his store, which is called Sufficient Classic. And um, Victor and I go way back. Yes. Uh, yes. In fact, I was kidding him because I found some pictures of when I first met him. <laughs> what What were you doing then? <laughs> well, that that was the time when I met you. By that time, I was still young and still doing music. Oh, and you're and old now. Yes. <laughs> so now I think time just shifts and people growing up and I think got serious, we're right? Moving to a different path. Yeah, yes. but I want you to briefly speak about what, what you were doing then. Come on, don't hide it. Yeah, so, so uh, I, I used to do like music, so we used to like travel different states and do performance. It was in high school time. So, okay, and so. you, were, you were hoping to be recognized. Yes, definitely. Uh, and, definitely. I, and I'm not making fun of you because I've <laughs> known a lot of people who yes. started off with you know that skill and and you wanted to be a rapper mm -hmm. and um and your raps but your raps were different yes, which is yes, why we use yes. them for our program because yes. and and how were they different well it's, it's different because my i was encouraging youngs to be brave and to use the talent that they used to have it's just in them and they just need to let it out so they were inspirational yes, raps yes yeah. inspirational. and 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 clean language yes i definitely, think that was the definitely, other thing because um, at yes. the time i was working with the uh, same gentleman i work with now uh, anthony bazir yes. and we wanted to bring you to events yes. and have someone inspire and, and you were good yes you were good yes, yes. but like uh -huh. you said uh <clears throat> times move on definitely things definitely. change yes um now you're originally from i'm originally from south sudan and you came here at what age i came here at uh, 15 going to 16 years old. Okay, what high school and, did you go to here? Well, when we came, we uh, we arrived in New Hampshire, Manchester, New Hampshire. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so Which I, I know. I went to I went to uh, Central. Oh, same thing. <laughs> oh my oh God! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I didn't know that we both graduated from the oh. same high school. <laughs> Only a few years apart. Too. <laughs> yes, Central High School. Oh my God! You seriously? Yes, I graduated from Central High School. Oh my goodness! I won't tell this you. This world is too small. I but it, I suddenly <laughs> thought, oh my gosh, she's from Manchester. Maybe we went to that. Amazing. <laughs> yes. Okay. So uh, so then eventually um, you came over to Portland. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, so and I, mean, I know other people in your family, so I know a little mm. bit about your background. Yes. Um, yes. And you <clears> had to, like everybody else, you had to find a way to. to uh, and once you'd graduate from high school to yes. support yourself. Uh, yes, tell us a little bit, this is something other people need to know who are also maybe new. Yes, um, yes. You have to try a lot of different things. Tell yes. us about some things you tried. Definitely. So uh, after when I finished uh, my school, I, I tried, because I've been working a lot, so I, I was thinking of doing, you know, star business, because I have experience of business since I was young, but not that much. So my first business was uh, transportation. So I, uh, I had my first cargo van. So this cargo van, I, uh, I got a contract. I went online, in, indeed.com, and just put my experience. I have cargo van, I can you deliver. You purchased the cargo van. Yes, yeah. I, I, I did. I, I went, f I, I tried to get loan, but seems like I have a bad experience with loans, so i rather deal with cash right away. So we. I bought it at the, you know, just a, a savage, s savage store. Right. I mean, uh, well, that that's one of the things that everybody has a problem with is getting capital when they want to start up on yes, their own. Yes, definitely. So, and how long did you do that, uh, delivering cargo for people? Well, I I, I did it for a one seller year. I had this contract with uh, this company called Golden Way. So, I they gave me some loads. I took some from D.C. I transport some uh, some some goods to Wyoming. I went to Iowa. So I you got to you got to see the country. <laughs> yes, I drove all the way to California. Oh, wow! And Utah and Texas, Arizona. So it was it, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. But uh, so when I came back, uh, actually the the dispatcher and the dispatcher and and and. Uh, the team they told me that uh, I think it's better if you buy a bigger, you know, 18 wheelers truck drive, you know, mm -hmm. a truck. 
So it kind of encouraged me. It's like you make, you make okay money, but if you get 18 wheelers truck, you might make more than that. All oh, right. So it kind of encouraged me. So I came back to Maine, Portland, Maine, and I got another contract with Bob's, Bob's Furniture. Oh, okay. Where I, I used to deliver some furnitures, and I did that for like one year, and it raised me some capital. And basically, I went and I purchased my first uh, 18 wheelers truck. Which I believe you still own. Yes, definitely, definitely, okay. definitely. So okay. I, I, I put that on lease right now. If someone is leasing it, is driving. So this all over this the this investment that eventually you drove truck a big truck long distance, right? Yes. yes. And so then, uh, and again, I, I hope you understand what I'm doing is breaking it down for people. Yes, you invest yes. in this bigger truck, you drive it, you make money, and then you say, oh you know, I don't think I want to do this forever. Yes, definitely, you definitely. Because you were a family man by yes, then. Yes, it, it's, it's difficult, it's difficult. I mean, especially when you're trying to do business and you're going to be putting 100% into it. It's just your family is going to be there. You're not there for the kids. And, and it, it's kind of funny because when I did my first runs to California, and it was close to Christmas time. Uh, and so I had to make my trip back before Christmas. Oh, boy. And my kids was like, Dad, are you going to come for Christmas? I was like, yeah, I'll make it. But unfortunately, I, I made it, really. Like, I made it on, uh, on December 20, 24th. Wow. You came down the chimney. 2021. <laughs> I know, right? I came at night, too. And they oh, woke gosh. up in the morning and was like, oh, Dad, you're here. Oh, that's great. That's <laughs> yes, great. You yes, and Jackie yes. now have six kids, right? Yes, yes, yes. Wow. All total together, yes. Yeah, yes. all total together. Big wow. family. Big family. <laughs> Big responsibility. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and then at some point, I guess, uh, from our conversation fairly recently, you told me that you ended up traveling to Africa, you and Jackie, um, yes, mostly yes. probably to get in touch with family and, yes, and yes. see things you hadn't seen. And while you were there mm -hmm. was when you, um, this was, was this in Dubai? Yes, yes, we went to Dubai. And actually we went to Tanzania too. And uh, we, that's what kind of encouraged, we, we just went accidentally, but I think, you know, the plan just went perfectly. Uh, we went and we went to this big market. We found, you know, I like dressing suits. So most of the time when I go to church, people are like, hey, where do you shop? And can you take us to a shop or whatever it is? Just shop with you. So it kind of encouraged me too. But when I went overseas, I saw a store, you know, the selling suit. So basically, there were, if you are just a, a regular customer, they can sell your suit with higher price of course but if you Marka. are yes so if you have a come like you want to do it for for your company or whatever it is so the price is kind of is is reasonable right so You're buying it yeah. wholesale so basically me, me, me and my wife we we thought it was a good idea to start this so our first in investment was about three thousand and four hundred dollars that was our f the first purchase that we made were you scared I was, yeah, it's, it's very, I'm, I was very scared. I mean, because you're buying something, you don't know where right. where you're going and right. how you're going to do it. Figure you're just going to have those suits yeah, in the closet for the rest of your yeah, life. Yeah, and probably knock people's doors, be like, hey, I got suits for sales. <laughs> yeah, and nobody's yeah like, I know, you know, it's scary. <laughs> yes, it's yes, scary. yes, but it, it comes with risk, so. Yeah, no, I know, I have to interrupt here and just say this is, I've, I've been working with, with people from other countries, yes. particularly Africa, now for over 10 years. Mm -hmm. And I find it absolutely amazing that you guys are willing to take risks. I wouldn't have taken Yes. For all the tea. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> yes, and my family yes. would have said, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, I mean, I have some skills in terms of uh, making things, but I would never have thrown all my all, yes. you know what I mean, yes, into doing yes, that. Yes, yes, So you were nervous, and I'm sure Jackie was scared too, but you went ahead and did it. Yes. Did you start right here in this particular space? No, actually, so when, when we got the place, I mean, when we got the, the suits, we came home, and so we bought the suits, and we bought some different purchase for, you know, the, the brand names also for okay. the women's. But so we want to start, my wife is like, all right, let's just do it locally. So we went and asked the price for locally, but I was concerning about safety. 
and someone can come and break in your, oh, your okay. store and can steal. And another thing, you have to put a lot of work on advertising. Yep. Just to make sure people that know your location and so they can come and get some, you know, s stuff from you. So I was like, okay, you know what? I think it's a good idea, but let's take another risk. Let's come to the mall. <laughs> go whole hog. In other yes. words, don't just, don't just <laughs> find some hole in the wall that nobody knows is there. Yes, Let's yes. go where everybody goes shopping. Exactly. Very good. You and, went to the market. Yep. So we, we took this huge risk, and, and I, I, I believe it's a good idea because we don't have to do a lot of work on calling people or right, you know, putting right. flyers The advertising, out, is, advertising is here. People yeah, are going to walk by. Yeah, everybody just walking through and... When they see something good, of course yeah. they'll come and right, they're trying to get. Right. So I have what the market, what people want, and when you have what people want, they always come and get. That's it. right. That's they always right. Come and get let's it. Yes. let's talk about what you have because that's one of the reasons we're here. Yes. Um, uh, where would you like to start? Because we are going to have some photographs. We're going to overlay to this, but we're right. also going to, you know, take some things and show everybody. Yes. Yes. So basically, here we have uh, we have a lot of different colorful suits and tuxedos is beautiful and don't be scared the price is reasonable our our regular suit here is hundred ninety four dollars it comes with three pieces the jacket and the vest and the pants so here I have collection of many suits here but I have this uh, this uh, children's suit here it, it, it could be for wedding or birthday it could be wedding or birth. I'm, I'm or, a grandma, birth. so I'm looking at it going, oh, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's very so cute. So it's, it's, it's very, uh, very nice. And I remember you came last time you found the yellow, like, golden Yes, one. the one looked like Michael Jackson would have yes, worn it. And I yes, was, I wish I'd bought it. <laughs> <laughs> that one has been, it's, it flies it's, right off the shelves. It's out of stock right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, we do have also a black tuxedo for children as well. We have all different sizes from oh. one, one years old to 12 years old as well. So it's beautiful. It comes with, uh, with the bow tie. And the price is reasonable too. It's 145 So all three with this can go on with that. And we have different ones. So we're not going to go too far, but... That's okay. We have a blue one too, shiny, sparking, and we have this, this classical one with some, you know, checker green. Yeah, that's. I think that's called a plaid. Victor. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, the plaid one. Yeah. Beautiful. So I have. And then for the big boys. Yeah, for the big guys here, I have one of this. This one here is a great tuxedo. Is gold and black. And I got to be honest with you. When I first met my friend Bazir, mm -hmm. he would have gone, oh, buy me that, buy me that. I, I love it. <laughs> uh, and I would have said, ah. Uh. But now I've been to African weddings, and all the men look just as good as the ladies. I mean, they are wearing some very sharp-looking clothes. <laughs> yes, now, I'm, yes. my tastes have changed because yes. I can see. Th I think it's because when you, um, I hate to say this, American men don't dress up very much. Mm. And to see something like this, I'd be like, wow, I, I never would have seen my father in that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm starting to like it. Yeah. I'm starting to yeah. like it. it this one is kind of famous in African African style parties. If you go to African parties, you see a lot of people wearing those kind of tuxedos. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, and we have a gold one. This gold here. Wow. This golden one, shiny. Is beautiful. I'll tell you, a man looks very nice in something like this. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, a lot of prom kids love this. They. Yeah. I used to have, we brought some couple of uh, in stocks, and right now, I believe there are only three left right now. So, we also have wedding suit for men. If you're looking for uh, having a wedding, we have uh, three pieces sets here. It comes with the jacket. There's a piece of lint on there. Yeah. <laughs> jacket and blazer and, and the vest and the pants as well. Oh, the, oh, the vest is black. Yes, the vest okay, is black. Okay, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. That's okay. It looks so, nice. The reason also this one, 
this business kind of encouraged me because I, uh, when, when, when we had our first uh, wedding, me and my wife, we uh, basically, I struggled. I was looking for man tuxedos, uh, wedding tuxedo. I couldn't find any. Really? I drove all the way to Boston. It's just not what I want. And also my, my son was, I couldn't find anything for my son. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a hustle. I used to drive all the way to New York. You know, uh, Jamaican because Ave. because people here don't buy a tuxedo. Yes, they they rent one. Yeah, and that's just I, I think the man should. I mean, certainly a woman would never want rent a wedding dress. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And definitely. I think I think it's a big event, and I think the more, well, the bigger the event, the more you should invest in yourself and how you look and how yeah. you feel. Yes, you know yes. that's a hand that's a handsome suit. Yeah. So yeah, and we just have a couple of them here. And uh, here we have a, a, a good double breast tuxedo as well. And we have this for children as well. Yeah. So as you know, uh, you can see around the store also. Yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some more pictures yes, up of, yes. of what you have. Yes, yeah. definitely. Something definitely. for everybody. Yes. Something for everybody. Yes, yes. Uh, on the women's side, what do you what do you uh, find that people like the most? All right, so if on you the if need to get up and go get something, it's okay with me. Okay, so women are a little bit difficult. Trust me, I we struggle on selling <laughs> women here. Okay. Yeah, so we have woman uh, suit as well. I think part of the problem, though, is that the women have many more stores to go to in the area. Yeah. Do you think that might be part of it? Maybe, yeah. But it's, it's, it's difficult to understand women. I can hold this one. So we have this suit, That's two nice. pieces suit for women. It's two colors. It's very beautiful. Yeah, very professional. Yeah, it is. And yeah. we also do uh, party dresses as well. I like this one a lot. I I couldn't couldn't wear it anymore, but I like <laughs> it. It's beautiful. So it's beautiful. We have those party dresses. Oh, what a they nice. Can go all together. What a couple. I know, huh? right? Yeah. So Yeah. Maybe beautiful. a maybe a twenty fifth wedding anniversary party. Yes, right? definitely. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're looking for a, a wedding this also white and white, you will yeah. go beautiful. Yeah, it's very nice. That's yes. really pretty. Yes, yes. Let me have you. I don't want this to get dirty. That's fine. So, what do you think? Um, you would say. So, say you run into some young guy who's from uh, some part of Africa right now, and he's he's looking to start a business. What what are some advice that you'd offer him? I didn't ask you this question before the show. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine. So I can all I can tell you, uh, first thing you you must be a person that takes risks, especially when it comes to business, because business is like they have a lot of business, but if you don't try something, you won't know you won't know it. So you must learn how to get in there and have faith. Believe that, you know, whatever dream that you have, just believe that it's going to come true. And it won't just come overnight. So you have to work through it. It's like a ladder, you step by step, and be, in con be constant with it. And definitely you will see the results that you want. Have any, any problems, any things you wish you'd known when you went into this? Because I know you're a man of faith. And I'm going to put in a little plug here. You are a, also a pastor of a church. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you juggle all this? The business and the yeah. pastor and I'm family. everywhere. What you you're everywhere. <laughs> I'm everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yes. Yeah, so, so, like, uh, I do a lot. I I've I've tried a lot of things. So you know, music first, and then, and then a father and. Uh, and then driving truck. Driving. And, and, and that must have been Working here and also have another job. You do? As well, yeah. It's, you didn't tell me? Are you <laughs> going to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I work at Granny Bay Care. 
Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. So I do have another. And you job. have the and you have the truck still the the big the big truck yes, the long the, distance truck yeah. which you lease so that's yeah. that gives you a backup in terms of it is it income is in, in case anything happens you know have at least a backup yes definitely yeah definitely yeah so yeah. I'm going to add some advice that you don't you're saying don't throw all your eggs in one basket yes you know have a little bit of something definitely. else planned backup definitely. definitely. So if, even uh, even the tr in, in trucking, if you go into transportation, if you're if you want to be in trucking, you if you want to lead, like for example, I have one lease is out there. I'm planning on getting another truck, but I'm not gonna give it to the same person. I'll find another person that I'll lease it to. In case that one his business goes down, I'll right. take my truck, but that one is still running in the same time. So as you say, don't leave all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. Yeah, in case yeah, it get makes run. Makes good sense. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah. that's that's why I'm, I'm I was I wasn't focused on one business. I was doing transportation, I, and now I'm into clothing, into transportation. I think and you're going to do very well. I think you've done very well. I shouldn't <laughs> say going to. I mean, it's been a few years since you and I talked. Yes, definitely. Um, definitely. And when I saw the store, I was, frankly, I was, I, mean, I was like, wow, Victor, the guy who was a rapper, <laughs> and now he's doing, but you've always been a people person, too. Yes, definitely. That's part of it. You know, I don't think you can run a store, a business like this, without liking people. Yes, and, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, letting them, uh, yeah become a part of, because I was watching you selling a, a, a suit to a young man earlier who was yes. going to a prom, and yes, uh, yes. it was going well, yes, it was going yes, well. Yes. So, thank you for letting me interview you, yeah. and uh, I hope this brings plenty of business to your store because I think um, I think we need more people from different places who are willing to take the risk of uh, diving in. Yes, definitely. And it definitely. can't all be those big chain stores. I'm sorry, I've got this. That's my little soapbox I get on every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's it's beautiful. I mean, because. I have a lot of people supporting me for just being a local businessman. Yes. Instead yes. of supporting big corporations. So yeah. that, that, that is, is working pretty good. Great. Working pretty good, yes. Victor, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>